guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video I'm doing an updated salon tour it has been nine months since I showed you guys the inside of my nail suite and a lot of things have changed some things have still stayed the same but I wanted to share it with you guys so we're just gonna go ahead and get started this is an overview of the main door the wall to your left then the front facing wall and then the long wall that's on the other side and then the wall connected to the doorway. So this is the wall that you come to on the left as soon as you walk in the door. And I just have kind of like a seating area, a waiting area kind of situation here. So I just have a couple chairs and a little table with some treats and waters. Obviously I need to refill. The holiday season has <laughs> wiped me out. But yeah, so I just put a big mirror above that and I just have a little tower fan just for ventilation in the room. And then the first long wall is basically where I keep my polish and my service menus and just different things for the clients. Like I have like nail art and magazines and stuff like that. So on this wall, I have my wall rack of polish, tabletop rack of polish, and this is just overflow for nail stripers, extra polish, glitter. And then this is just one of my gel polish swatches. This first shelf on this bookshelf is just magazines. This is for kind of like nail art storage. So extra glitters, um, colored acrylic, stamping kits, wraps, striping tape, stuff like that. This is a tray for sanitizing my implements. It has a barbicide solution in it where you just like soak all of your implements, tablet for payments and music. And I have these two bins at the bottom for storage. It's basically where I keep product bottles, cleaning solution, trash bags, things like that. So on this next wall, lighting is terrible once I go around <laughs> the window, but this is where I do my pedicures and the nail services themselves. So I just have a canvas and then I have a little table and then the pedicure setup. So this is a hydraulic pedicure chair. It actually, let's show you guys, it has the pump so you can raise it up and down. It also swivels and then the foot part can be pulled in and out and then raised up and down depending on the height of your client. And then I've talked about this footsie bath before so I'm just going to show you really quickly but it's basically an electric foot bath. You pull the cord out from here and plug it in. You can change the settings for the heat and vibration, which is like a massage. And it has its own little basket that you put plastic inserts in to actually do the pedicures. So it's really sanitary. I just keep a little table next to it for my clients to set their things on. And a little bin for soiled towels. Then I have my nail table. I've had this nail table for years and it's it's definitely time for an upgrade, but it's done really well. Um, it's held up really, really well, but I just have my client chair, my chair, the table, trash can. I have my gel lamp, my table lamp, and then I have this extra little storage rolly thing. These, this is on wheels um, and it's basically like an extension of my table because my table is very limited as far as like the top space to actually do any work, especially if you have this guy up there when you're doing gel. So I like to have this as an extension to set stuff on and my clients can set their phone or their wallet, whatever. And then I just have my clock and licenses displayed. And then we're back over to this next long wall. So this is the wall that's to your right whenever you walk in the door. And I just have it decorated with my Nail Pro and Nails Magazine plaques and this is kind of one of my favorite sections just because it's so colorful and bright, but I have some retail here. These are homemade soaps, um, some kind of plant decor. I have another plant over here that's on its last leg. <laughs> and then I have my like pedicure storage and then just some different things for my clients. So nail photos and nail art menu and some polish business cards. But down here, these are the plastic inserts for the footsie baths. Each client gets their own liner put in. So after you're done, you throw this away and get a new one. So it's super sanitary as far as pedicures go. And this drawer is my pedicure supplies. Just things like um, gloves, lotion, um, 
the little pedicure shoes, towels, things like that. That's what's on this wall. And I really like that this is to my right because whenever I'm doing a service, I can put all of my products and implements right here and just grab for it whenever I'm actually doing a client. I just realized I forgot to show you guys what the other side of the nail table looks like. So typically there would be a door here for covering up the space, but I have it off at the moment so I can show you guys. And I just have all of these different shelves for my nail supplies themselves. I have a video dedicated to going through this nail table, so I'm not gonna show you everything, but I just have all of my manicure supplies, implements, all of my bottled products there, and potted products. And then, like I said, this piece here, it's just like a rolling like extra storage cart so it's just for any like leftover extra gloves cotton disposable manicure towels um this is where i would typically keep my towels but i'm washing all of them at the moment and this is just my personal stuff down there thank you guys so much for watching i will have a lot of my different equipment and furniture listed and linked in the description box. So if you guys are interested in any certain pieces, um, just check down there in the description box. I'll have like my nail table and my pedicure um, chair and stuff like that listed for you guys. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye guys.